Hello YouTube, thanks for joining me. Um, today I would like to do what should be a relatively short video on how to get Welcome to Pia Carrot's English Language Translation Patch working with Mednafen, which is a relatively popular uh, emulator, uh, multi-system emulator that can emulate the PCFX. And I could, we can also talk about how to run it in the Magic Engine FX, I suppose, as well. So um, let's go ahead and get started. What I was originally going to do is I was actually going to uh, dump an image uh, from my physical copy of the game, which is how I would recommend doing it, but it seems like my physical copy of the game may be deteriorating at this point. Uh, I did run into some errors and uh, I was able to make an image file, but it was not... Um, it wasn't the same as this image file that I also made uh, previously and I was having trouble getting it to work properly. So anyway, um, this is a working image file as far as I know. Uh, it's an ISO uh, with a Q file, okay? This is just a raw dump, right? A raw image of the uh, of the disk. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look here. Um, let's get some, some hashes uh, information here, some checksums, um, which you should be able to check against your own disk image. Like I said, as far as I know, this is good uh, and working, hopefully. Um, you should be able to see these numbers here. I'm not going to read them off, but if you're able to get, you know, CRCs, SHAs, uh, or any sort of a, of, a, of a hash here of your, you know, file, uh, you can check it against this image that I'm using in this video, okay? For starters, uh, what I've found is nice with Meddefen is um, instead of trying to, you know, put it into the path of runnable applications that you can run from the command line or something, uh, just just put it into the folder, you know, the directory that you're running it from. So this is Meddefen. Uh, I just took the whole thing the whole folder and put it right in here in this folder where I'm going to run this stuff. Uh, it's only like 20 megs maybe, so who cares, right? It's just you can just have multiple copies of this in every folder that you have stuff in that you that you need to run. Um, and from that point you're going to make a batch file, okay? This is just a, a feature of Windows. I'm running Windows 10 here. Um, it's been a feature of Windows since, you know, well since DOS really. It's, it's been a feature. Um, so we have Mednafen which is this folder, uh, and then inside of that it's running Meddefin exe, and it's uh, passing it pia caret q file, and the q file is going to, um, you know, tell it how to run the, uh, the ISO. You can see what the q file looks like. It just shows, like, some information about the, the disk and the tracks and stuff like that. So, uh, let's go ahead and run that, and we'll see how it works. All right, so pia, so this is, you know, pretend you just, um, dumped an image yourself or however you ended up with your image you could run this on Mednafin. Um, I do have a gamepad here. Okay, so we get the Cocktail Soft logo. Everything's working fine. But uh, the one issue here is that this is all in Japanese, right? And uh, some of us, oops, I need to change the mode here. I was just trying to hit start. Okay, there we go. Um, is you know, you know, some of us uh, could be better at Japanese. I know Japanese, um, but I'm not, uh, you know, perfect. And uh, there's a totally serviceable English language translation of this game, and we would like to play it that way. So um, this is our translation patch. All you have to do is go to rumhacking.net, and uh, you can just go to sections, translations and uh, search for, for Pia Carrot, right? So it's not right on there, Pia Carrot, there we go. Ting. Now there are two. Um, there is this addendum that was made, uh, you know, just recently in, in uh, 2019 by uh, Baba Jean Mel, something like that, um, which it really just, it uses our translation patch but it, um, it makes a new patch that I guess uh, can be applied to a ROM image that they, you know, find is, is more common or something. I mean, this is, this is just a raw dump of the, of the game, so I don't, I don't know what you would need to be different. But it, it might automatically do some of this stuff, 
that I'm going to show you how to do here with our old patch. So I'm not showing you how to use this one. Feel free to go ahead and try this. Maybe this makes the whole thing easier. I don't know. Uh, but we're going to use this one. This was our original patch that we released way back in 2009, which you know wasn't that long ago, but it was a while ago. And uh, we'll download it. Download. Uh, it's the desktop. So yeah, let's do that. Uh, it is small, so it should already be here. So we have two useful things here. I mean, all of it's useful, uh, but the patcher uh, and the patch are the uh, most useful things. So what we're going to do is uh, let's make a folder. And this is just going to be our pia carrot folder, okay? Just so we're not overwriting or losing anything that, uh, that I want to be keeping here. Put that in there. Um, let's go ahead and copy these, and we'll paste them there. Uh, we're also going to copy meddefend into here because we want to run it there. Okay, so now that we have that there, um, let's go ahead and um, one thing we're actually going to do, this patcher, I mean I'll show you here, we're going to run it. So it's automatically bringing up the patch file here, which is this PPF, and we're going to say, hey, we want to use, oh, disk image, bin, q, is what it's looking for, or, uh, or tracks uh, in dat file. So we actually, we have a q, but we don't have a bin, we have an iso, and that doesn't matter, it's the same thing. So we're just going to say bin. Yes, I do want to change it, so it's now called a bin file same thing doesn't matter but what it does matter for is the Q file it actually refers to it as an ISO so let's make the Q file refer to it as bin all right that's the only that's the only you know area in which that's gonna matter so we've saved that our Q file now refers to this this binary file and this patcher you know for whatever reason um, David just wrote it specifically looking for a bin um, so now we can see our bin show up there, right? So we're going to pick the bin, and we're going to say open. We might be have been able to pick the Q file and say open too, but um, uh, at, at any rate. Uh, so we're opening the bin, we're patching it with this PPF, we're going to say patch. You can also dump the music too, which is cool. So it takes a sec, you know, it's a big file, so give it a minute. Patch was successfully applied. Okay, so that was good, right? Um, so let's close that. Now, we're going to try to go ahead and run this again. Uh, yeah, it worked correctly, it's fine. Uh, with this batch file. And we're going to run into an issue, which is, uh, is what we're going to learn how to get around today. Because I feel like this has been a stumbling block for a lot of people, is uh, them wanting to play it, and they're wanting to play it with this, ec this thing. So we got this uncorrectable error, such and such, right? Uncorrectable error. So... Hmm, what do we do? Um, what we're going to do is go back to romhacking.net, and there's a utility here called CD Mage. It's a data extraction and insertion utility. Um, I, I basically ran across this on the forum. Um, I can, sh I'll show you guys. Uh, if you search here for uh, Pia Carrot. Uh, I was talking at one point in an underrated games uh, thread, and I was mentioning Welcome to Pia Carrot. I'm like nobody, t you know, talks about it that much, and I, I love it. I'm I'm biased, but uh, somebody was like, man, you know, I was trying to get this working, and uh, Sleepy Fist, okay, and so they were like, hot damn, it looks like it's finally up and running. I just used CD Mage action scan for corruption rebuild sector fields. Okay. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, since it's running fine under BizHawk, I believe BizHawk uses... Well, I don't know if BizHawk is its own thing. I kind of think it uses um, Mendefen as a backend. You know, a lot of stuff's probably going to be like that if it runs in RetroArch or something. It's using Mendefen as a backend. So, um, so that's what we're going to do. So let's get that utility. Um, we have to go back here. I do not want to resubmit the form. I just want to go back to the utility. You will download it. CD Mage. We'll open it. CD Mage. That's it. So we're going to run CD Mage, and uh, we're going to open up our image file. File. Yeah, I guess I could have used that. 
Um, so we're going to go to uh, this, our data, our ROMs, our FX ISOs, Pia Carrot, and our bin. Actually, you know what? Do I even want to do that? Yeah, I think we actually have to open... Oh, phew, good. <laughs> I think we have to use the Q file to open it up. There we go. So now it, it knows what all the tracks are and all that stuff. So we're going to say file. Um, actually, action, scan for corruption. Go ahead and scan it. It was just whatever the default was, all tracks or something. Okay, so it's got... 4,000 bazillion corrupted sectors. So let's go ahead and say action, rebuild sector fields. All of those, okay, yes. Okay, so that is done doing that. Uh, we can close this. And now we're gonna try this again. So this is just our same bin. Um, I mean, sorry, our same our same bat batch file. And uh, let's see what we get this time. And there we go. So now we have the English Adaption by uh, David Michael and Matt Filler of France. That is me. Um, some of this is still in Japanese, like the the videos. And oops, I don't need to do the mode. I keep thinking that's gonna that's gonna do what I want. Um, but yeah, you like ninety nine percent of this is now in uh, in English, and uh, you can you can enjoy it. Let me shut this because it's loud. Um, you can enjoy it uh, on, on Mednafen or any, anything else that uses Mednafen as a uh, as a back end. So while we're at it, I'm going to show you how to run this in uh, the English version, basically, in uh, Magic Engine. That is the emulator that David wrote. Now we see that my DVD drive is like, hey, what do, what do we want to do with this, this disc? So I actually just put in my physical copy of the disc. Uh, I am concerned that maybe it is, uh, it's having some issues, but I think it'll still run uh, the way that we need it to. So let's go ahead and look in um, data, and we're going to look in our emulators, and we're going to uh, bring up Magic Engine FX, which is going to be this here. Okay, so there's Magic Engine FX, and actually you can see already here we have this PPF uh, patch file in this magic engine directory um, just for the sake of you know showing you what you would do I can go ahead and delete it we could take it right from from this download and we could just put it into the root directory of the em emulator magic engine FX and then we're just gonna run it okay um, the reason why that's all you need to do is because David wrote this emulator <laughs> and you know he helped me make this patch and he wrote the emulator to soft patch the game when it sees this uh, this patch file that we've that we have so we're gonna say uh, okay let's run it I figured that we would hit boot CD but actually it seems like if we just uh, go ahead and reset it will uh, it will load up the game in the in the uh, CD drive, and uh, we will automatically apply the patch to it. So this is by far, uh, you know, what I would call the easiest way to play this. I did recommend playing it this way in the uh, the video. Um, yeah, this is loud, so I need to close that also. <laughs> in the video that. Uh, one controller port, uh, Ben Ben Yoder and I uh, did a podcast recently about the PCFX, and I was mentioning you know, if you want to play this, this is super easy. You can see you just put the patch file in the directory, you load this thing, uh, you have a, a CD burned or you know legitimate of the game in your drive, or you load it virtually on a uh, on a virtual drive or something like that, and you can. Uh, you can play it that way. So uh, super, super easy. But now you guys know how you can play it on Mednafen as well. So I hope that that information has been helpful, and I hope you'll join me again for more video game related content. Thanks for watching.